I just want to let you know this video is truly raw. It's uncut. I know all of us have been wondering and have been thinking about this coronavirus. Because I am too. These times that are unknowing times for they're unknowing times for all of us. A lot of us are not working, which is scary because how does one survive without finances? Also, a lot of us depend on the comfort of being around other people. It is a way of survival for some of us. A lot of us depend on it for comfort, for love, and for support. So right now, I am praying against all depression. I am praying against all strongholds and all footholds the devil may have on you. Just so everybody, want, everyone knows, there is no AA or NA meetings. The only ones that are being hosted online. And that may help for some, but it doesn't help for others. And a lot of other services are canceled right now. I think right now is very important for all of us. We need to be supporting each other. We need to be doing exactly what God says. Love him with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and love thy neighbor as thyself. During these times here at Shoreline Church, we are taking many precautions to help with the safety for any of those attending services here. But right now, I really think we need some comfort from our Lord. Here are some scriptures from him on how to stay strong during these times. God says in Deuteronomy 31.8, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purposes. Isaiah 43, 1 says, Don't fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. And a great one is 1 John 4, verse 18. Perfect love casts out all fear. And the last one that we need to hold dear to our heart. Psalm 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. And just take a moment and pray. Father, Lord, I just, I thank you for giving us this time together. Even though I might not be there in person, I'm surely praying and thinking about all of those who are. Help to comfort us, Lord. Help us to show us your will during these times. And let us not give up hope in you. God, strengthen our faith. Give us the courage to step up and take care of one another. Father, I thank you. Every day is such a blessing, no matter what we are facing. We know all things come in seasons. And you always provide a way out, Lord. And we thank you so much for dying on that cross. So no matter what happens in this time right now, we know where we will spend eternity. And we just praise you. We thank you so much, Lord, for all of this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So last week, my wife's sermon was called Under Construction, and it's kind of ironic today's sermon will be all about detours. It just baffles me that God would provide this topic through a family member. And I just want to say thank you, Larry. During a detour like this we are in right now, we need to hold tight to our one and only Lord. 
not just this detour, but our entire life is full of them. But you gotta think about it. Whenever the state tries to improve the highway, what is there usually? A detour. That detour is there so the workers can improve the road and similarly God will take us on a detour because we are under construction in our lives as well. I don't think anyone here or anyone watching thinks detours are convenient. They typically take twice as long with tons of twists and turns. But, guess what? They are absolutely necessary. Dr. Tony Evans says, God is more interested in your development than your arrival. He cares more for your character than your comfort, your purity than your productivity. Keep in mind, development is not an event. Neither is it a one-size-fits-all experience. Development takes time, test, failure, and overcoming. God knows each one of us individually. He knows that we need in order to develop and strengthen our spiritual muscles and sharpen our spiritual insight and wisdom. He knows all of that. More often than not, this requires detours in life to allow us the opportunity to learn, grow, and develop. And this is so true. God wants us to learn from every moment, good or bad people. He wants us to be image bearers of Him. And how does He do this? He does this by refining us and pruning us. And those things happen only during construction and detours of life. Just like many of you, I've faced many detours in my life. There have been many that aren't pretty, but in the past 10 years, I thought I was going one direction, but one decision set me on another. Like the decision to surrender my will and life over to God, our Lord Jesus Christ, that was also a very painful decision. Just like that decision, many more would follow, and many more continue today. But what is true and what is stable is the Word of God helped me walk through the detours in order to be more like Jesus. Paul in Romans 5 has some great encouragement for those who are making the decision to follow Jesus and are suffering inside and outwardly for it. Romans 5 verse 1 through 5 says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, through Him we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings. Because we know that suffering produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. With today's scripture and message, I pray that you find the strength and hope necessary to make it through these times because many others will follow. This is not the last people. But no, God is for you. Know that every decision, small or big, is important to the way you will live and shape your life. 
my study notes painted a clear illustration for Romans 5, 1 through 5. It says, On one hand, we are complete in Christ. Our acceptance with Him is secure. Then on the other hand, we are growing in Christ. We are becoming more and more like Him. At one and the same time, we have the status of king and the duties of a slave. We feel the both presence of Christ and the pressure of sin. We enjoy the peace that comes from being right with God. But we will still face daily problems that often grow us. If we remember these two sides of the Christian life, we will not grow discouraged as we face temptations and problems. Instead, we will learn to depend on the power available to us from Christ, who lives in us by the Holy Spirit. It's just amazing. And no matter what's going on around us, we will always be pressured by sin. And for those who have faith in Jesus Christ, we will always have Him. So right now we are, the whole United States, the whole world is on one big detour. And many people have questions why. But I'm not questioning why. Because I know who is in charge. I know where I'm going. I have sought out my salvation with fear and trembling. And if I could say anything right now, I would say please stop depending on your own power to fix yourselves and the things that are in your lives, but instead Pray and accept the power of the Holy Spirit through Christ right now. Through His wisdom and strength, we can get through all detours in life. And, we, and you will always come out the other end with more character, more strength, more perseverance, and the greatest, more hope and love. I know this message doesn't fix anything going on right now. And this life is not meant to be easy. It's not meant to be pretty. We're only meant to be temporary here. We are called aliens. We are only here for a short time, then we're gone. So during these times, let's not buckle in fear. But let's look for opportunities and ways to serve the Lord like we never had before. Let's look for ways to take care of each other. Because all of us are on a detour right now. All of us are going to struggle through this. Either we can struggle individually, or we can come together as a community and struggle together. We gotta remember social distancing though, if you come together. I know no matter what, I have my family, my family and Jesus. And I know if I'm in need, You'll come, and I hope we will do the same for each other. I just thank you guys. I thank you for coming out. Just hold on tight, because a detour is never pretty. When we go on those detours, you'll hit cracks in the road, bumps. You might get hit with another detour. But God will use it all for His glory. God promises us 
that he'll never leave his work undone. So he's not finished with you today. If you're here right now, think about life. Think about what is important. And if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to hop on this detour. This detour will take you on a ride through twists and turns that are sometimes scary, awkward, but I promise you'll, you'll get a joy of everlasting life. Over here, God has paid the debt for my sin. I have no shame or guilt because of that. He has taken care of it all, wiped my slate clean. So please make the decision to accept Jesus right now. And if you have accepted Jesus, is your, is your salvation authentic? Or is it just a Sunday, Saturday thing? Thank you guys for listening to this sermon. I am new at this recording thing. But I hope we can grow together, learn together. For all these sermons that I preach are things that I'm going through as well. Just like my wife, the sermons that she preaches are things that she's going through. But I thank you for supporting us. And I know finances are tight. They're going to be tight for me. But I know God will get us through this. I know God will call out those who can support and help us pay the bills here at this church. We'll step forward. But let's all keep the faith. And please reach out to one another. Let us pray. Father, I just I thank you for providing us a beautiful word. I truly thank you for these times right now. It is a time that you have given us to think outside the box, to think of new ways on how to live our life. Father, I ask for your protection on all those who are watching, all those who are here at this church right now, all those who are at home. I ask that you guard them, you protect them from any illnesses, Lord, you keep them healthy, you give them the wisdom to know how to keep themselves healthy. As I pray that for myself, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for my wife, who's always telling me I need to eat healthy. Father, I just thank you so much for the family you have given us here. Please give them the strength to step out in faith this week to live boldly for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I thank you guys. If you have already watched this sermon, below are the videos we'll play tonight. And these videos are to help you get into the moment of worship with your Lord, with our Lord Jesus Christ. He wants us to be with one heart one mind, and one body. So please watch the videos below, and thank you for everything. In the name of Jesus Christ, take care.